Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to be talking about using the photo to phone option within Darkroom Booth, but specifically the difference between using Twilio and using email. So there are a couple differences. Uh, first is that Twilio is a paid service through a third party, so you have to purchase a Twilio phone number and then uh, you have to have funds in your Twilio account and it just subtracts from that account. The email option is eh, essentially free. Uh, you can use your own email account um, if you have a um, a current uh, maintenance plan. You can use Darkroom email. So let's kind of jump right in and look and see some of the um, things you might run into while you're setting up. Now this is this video is for brand new users. Most uh, users that have been using Darkroom booth for a while already know most of this, but we'll kind of still go over it. So under photo to phone you'll see Twilio and it's grayed out and you can't change that. That's normal. Whether you're using Twilio or whether you're, you don't want to use Twilio, it's still going to be grayed out and that's don't worry about that. If you don't have a Twilio account added, it will default back to email. If you have a Twilio account added, then it will use Twilio. So if we go to our global settings, um, you'll see that I have a Twilio account added and I have a video on setting up Twilio if you want to check that out to learn how to actually set that part up. But we're going to go ahead and start a session and see if we can see the differences between the two. So it's just going to capture an image and then it's going to prompt me for a phone number. And it should send over to my phone in just a moment. So one thing you'll notice is it didn't ask me for a carrier. It just had the keypad for the phone. If we use the uh, email option, you can see it came into my phone as a text message. There's an image. If we use uh, the email option, let's go ahead and just remove the count and you can see how this works. If it's not there, it'll default back to email. So um, let me go ahead and add my reply email address. And this is going to be the email address that if you reply to the message you receive, this is where it would reply to. But um, oops. Okay. So now I don't need to change anything here. I can't change it that's fine um, but whenever I um, let's start a session you'll notice after it captures the image and it goes to the prompt that it now should have the carrier list and I would just select my mobile carrier and type in my phone number and it's gonna come to my phone as a text message not as an email, but as a text message. Um, in in just a second, and there it is. You can see it's showing up as a text message. Um, so those are the two different options there. Now, one thing we did talk about was that carrier list that pops up. Any of you outside of the US or that want to add different carriers, if you go to darkroomsupport.com and do a keyword search for carrier list, it'll show you how to um, update for um, your area. And I think I actually have a downloadable uh, list for Canada. Any other countries, if, if uh, you're out there and you want me to create a list, um, send me a list of the carriers in your country and I'll do my best to create one that's downloadable for everybody in your country. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, that was quick and painless. But I'll see you next time. You guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know here's some other videos you might like most importantly thanks for being a customer i'll see you next time